Hello, thank you for joining me today. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a mid-year check-in on the art goals I had set for myself back in January. Let's get right into it. Back in January, I had set four goals for myself in terms of art that I wanted to focus on for the year. The first goal that I had set for myself was to expose myself more online and by myself I meant my art which basically meant to post more on my Instagram and to upload more regularly on this channel. I'm not doing quite well with this one to be honest. On Instagram I have taken more uh, quote-unquote risks. Uh, I have been uploading more reels, experimenting with gouache, and trying to be more involved and engaged with the people who choose to look at my art on Instagram, whom I'm very grateful for. But in here, there's a, it's kind of like I'm playing a push and pull game. The motivation comes and goes because it does take a lot of work every time that I'm going to paint, to draw, to take my camera out, find the right angle, what if it's a really rainy day, it's really overcast, or the lighting just doesn't want to work, and there are just a lot of elements that I have to think about. And I also find that I edit my art and myself a lot when I'm thinking that I am making it for an audience instead of making it for myself. So that has been one of the major roadblocks or two of the major roadblocks I've had in terms of showing my art more to others. But I really want to get back to posting more on this channel. My second goal was to participate in more art challenges. Now art challenges are so uh not overwhelming but they are very intimidating to me. I don't want to start challenges because I think that I should. I, I have tried multiple times to do the 100 heads in 10 days challenge and I have at most lasted three days. Not only because it's a very time consuming challenge, but I had to reel myself back and really ask myself, why do you want to partake in this challenge? Are you forcing yourself to do something you don't want to do? Because you don't have to participate so I'm kind of trying to find what exactly I want to learn from each challenge instead of just going in just to do it or just because I, I feel I should but at the same time it's not that serious you know so I guess it's, it's kind of a balance game my third goal is to try new media and most of the time when I say new media I mean watercolor my nemesis uh watercolor is very hard for me to work with i have shared on this channel my the two instances where i did give watercolor a chance and try it out uh i wouldn't say they were fails but i definitely have much more to learn about the media i'm trying to ease my way into getting more comfortable with it the last goal i had said for myself was to focus on quantity over quality. And the whole point of that was to draw every day. I haven't been to well on that one either. <laughs> it's really hard to think of something and immediately get it on paper. I'm always thinking about how well this is gonna turn out. Is it gonna be shareable? Should I make a reels of it? There are a lot of thoughts that come with creating art. And that is one of the reasons why I had set that goal, to shed all of those thoughts over time. It takes much more work to do than I had expected. But that's exactly what this check-in is meant to be. For me to assess, how well I've been doing or how bad I've been doing honestly and to kind of get myself together so that by December when I look back at the year I can say yeah I've had a really long slow start and I tried harder because that's really all that I can do 
but that's it for me today thank you for joining me i hope you enjoyed it remember to like comment subscribe share and i will see you in my next one bye